Game on! Look, give me some stick. I said you said we'd win it. Hey, DJ, yeah. yeah. Don't go inside your cell. Express yourself. Come Let's on. go to work. Let's go! This week we have travelled to the R and D Advisors UK Stadium for some Ithmian Premier League semi-final playoff action. As my local side, Bishop Stalford, take on my nan's local side, Chesson FC. It's the Blues versus the Ambers. Allez la bleu! Sorry, Nan. The ground was opened in September 1999 by Spurs boss George Graham. In front of a whopping 2,444 people, his side consisted of David Ginola, Rule Fox, Stefan Freund, and the legend Justin Edinburgh. Blues finished second in the Ithmian Premier League, with Chesant grabbing the final playoff spot in fifth. This is why Storford have the home advantage tonight, a place where they've only lost once in 21 games. Quick five facts. The club kept 12 consecutive clean sheets this season, which is a new club record. And also, bloody impressive. Quick five facts. It's two for one on club records this season as they went over a thousand minutes without conceding a goal. It's good to see they're in safe hands. Quick five facts. A current Premier League footballer has once sat on this very bench when he had a brief spell at Bishop Stortford. But can you tell us who he is from this list of clubs he's played for? Ryan, Stansted, Dagenham and Redbridge, Bishop Stortford, Peterborough, Crystal Palace, Newcastle, West Brom, Newcastle. Put your answers in the comments section below, but we're going to crack on with the video. Yeah, I'm Steve Smith, uh, Bishop Salford manager. Steve, an incredible season. How important is home advantage tonight? We'd rather be at home and away, let's, uh, let's be honest. There'll be a lot of people here tonight, and we've got a good record at home. We played things a couple of weeks ago. We know what they're all about, they're a strong physical side. I just want the boys to do it, really, because they've been absolutely phenomenal from day one. I said to them at the beginning of the season, back in August, we needed two points a game to get promoted, 84 points. We got 87, they give me some stick, they said, you said we'd win it. And I said, well, yeah, I didn't know whether we were going to get 97. We've had the best season here for 43 years. Broke all sorts of records, 12 games, we know seeding, and if we win tonight, or if and we win Monday and we get promoted, it'll be down, it'll be all over the papers and everyone will want it. If we lose, it'll be forgotten in two days, and that's sport for you. What's your style of play? We like to get the ball down. We've got two good, really good wide players and get balls in the box. But yeah, we look to try and play through the middle and try and get the ball down and, and try and play some attractive football. But we do mix it up as well. We've got a big lad up top that's good, but he's back to goal, can hold it up, bring people into play. And if you could share the dugout with any manager, past or present, who would it be? It'd have to be Jurgen Klopp. And not just because they've won trophies and whatever, I just think he wears his heart on his sleeve, doesn't he? And I think they've got that togetherness. He's got a bond with them players, you know, at any level, whether you're only quarter million quid a week or you're earning 200 pound a week if you've got that then you've got a chance i'm in storford's club shop for this week's crest check so let's take a look here it is like most of the badges these days it is taken from the town's coat of arms the waves and the wheat sheaf refer to the river stalk which runs straight through the town center and the mitre at the top refers to the bishops of london whilst we're in the club shop and the music's still funky let's check out the kits starting with the blue home jersey it's a v-neck collar with an embroidered badge and these jazzy blue and white zigzag sleeves onto the away kit it's exactly the same but black and white We've got a little Brucey bonus, this beautiful yellow and blue third shirt. All these kits are made by Macron. Shelby Elson, match referee. Imran Khan, assistant referee. Chris Paul, assistant referee. Val and Ekwe, fourth official. What's your sort of pre-match routine in here? So we get ready, talk about the games, the teams, the league position. Who's in charge of the music? Me. <laughs> Ex-DJ, yeah. <laughs> oh, what kind of music do you put on before the game? So, I like to be nice and relaxed. I don't want any of the music that the players listen to. Nice and relaxed. We've got some toes to Africa on at the moment. Might pick it up just before kick-off, but, uh, but yeah, nice and relaxed stuff. What do you think of his music? Uh, it's a bit prescribed, but it, it's good. <laughs> He's a referee. He gets to choose which music it is. Jack Giddens, Bishop Stortford. Jack, how happy are you? with those clean sheets. I think the record was close to nearly 30 years at the last time that the club had obviously kept them many clean sheets. So yeah, it was nice to get it done. Listen, we was always going to concede eventually, but 
Fossey go 12 games without conceding on the bounce was unbelievable. So, great achievement for me because I've not got nowhere near that in my career. And when you went to Potter's Bar, needing seven minutes without conceding the goal, did it squeaky bum time? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I slowed the game down at every possible opportunity. Even the ref got onto me within the first couple of minutes saying, can you speed it up a little bit? But then listen, after that, once we broke it, it was just on about winning the game, which we did do 3-0. You've won a few awards as well. Goal of the month a couple of times. Yeah, three times. But listen, I'll take all the accolades for that. But at the same time, it has been a hell of a team effort. We defend from the front. It's nice to GK getting all the awards. But um, as a side, we've been unbelievable. <laughs> Luke Callender, assistant manager, Richard Stortford. Warm-up's really about the keep ball with the players, making sure they're getting really intense and getting the ball moving. And then we go into some shooting practices where they just sort of play it into me, get it back, uh, have a couple of touches, get used to the pitch if there's a bit of a bobble and get some strikes off. Hopefully bring some confidence to them, a couple of goals and uh, test the keeper. Defenders have got a defensive coach there, so they're doing some heading practices over each other, sort of working as a unit, dropping off, coming forward, um, just trying to work as a unit as defensively as possible. I tell you who didn't have a problem finding the back of the net, former Blues striker Jamie Curitan. He is the only player in football history to score in all top nine divisions of English football. We are on the grass for another pitch review. Now, considering it is the tail end of the season, the Storford pitch is in good nick. These lines look really good. That's because they nicked the machine off Robot Wars to mark it out before the game. But where does this pitch go on our ratings board? We're gonna go for playable. Game on! Listen up, our journey f***ing don't end here tonight, yeah? We've worked too f***ing hard all year long to get where we f***ing are. Big occasions, big f***ing players. Enjoy it, boys. How many times is this going to come around? F***ing enjoy the occasion. Don't go inside your cell, express yourself. Let's go to work. Let's go! A big game deserves a big burger, and that is exactly what I've got. We've got the cheese, we've got the onions, we've got the burger sauce, and maybe one of the best value burgers I've had so far. I've got this, a cup of tea, and it sent me back £4.50. But how does it taste? Let's give it a go. Aromatic. Zesty. Fantastic. Archie Edwards, left back. Peters, midfielder. Frankie Merrifield, anywhere. 